with yeah. the with the gauntlet. But yeah, if no, it I, if it is a happy ending, great. But I don't know. I don't know. It, it depends on the way they do it. But for me, the way that I'm looking at it and looking at their their sort of character histories out of the two, I I'm, I'm going for Steve Rogers is going to die. The Captain America is going to bite the bullet because think yeah. of, well think think about it. He's the guy to throw himself on the grenade. That's for, that's true. And his love interest died in the Civil War. And he doesn't really have anyone that he can turn around. Oh, no, he, has, he has the Avengers, but it really, he's well, no he's, one to... Like, he's quite literally the man out of time. Yeah. So for me, I think he's going to be the one to sacrifice himself. Because in the comics, he has this glorious speech to Thanos. Where he says, as long as there's breath left in my body, I will stand up against you. There will always be people standing up against you. And Thanos obliterates him. But <laughs> <laughs> Thanos just goes, nah. Yeah. That's a great speech. Well, again, Black. it would tie into Tony's vision in the Age of Ultron. You know, he sees the broken shield. Oh, yes. Because Thanos yes. is the one that breaks I hope his that shield. happens. I hope that happens. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm guessing that's how he goes out. And maybe we'll get like a little kind of like afterlife scene where he's reunited with Peggy. But then, you know, that's just fan, but see, rampant fan but speculation. Remember the uh, hallucination that they all had and, and he has the moment with the dance hall? Yeah, yeah. In my head, that's what happens. The dance, the doors open up, the dance hall is there and she's waiting for him but and that, they that, go off and the, like, the, it fades away. Yeah, but that's quite a sort of dark, like the, there's a lot of darkness to interpret from that uh, dream sequence hmm. because like you, you see like the photographers with the big flash bulbs yeah. and stuff. But they're making noises of bombs dropping. And it's it's there to sort of be a visual metaphor to indicate that like Steve Rogers will never leave the war. Yeah, he's a he's, he's a, a soldier. soldier. Yeah. He's a World War II soldier. So like the the war is never over. He can't just leave and go home. There is always gonna be that next fight. Hmm. And the only thing to stop Steve Rogers from fighting is death. Oh, you've really read it. I don't have a life. I watch these movies way too much. Ow. <laughs> I didn't think about that. I, I, I took yeah. it from the, you find, you find your no, rest night, come on, that's a happy moment. the war ends whenever he has his dance with Peggy. And if you look at that dream sequence, like the room's filled with people laughing, you can hear explosions, you see the flashes of the, of the, uh, the, 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 bulbs. the cameras, yeah. the, the flash bulbs. Uh, and then suddenly, whenever Peggy says it's time for our dance, the room is empty and just deadly uh, silence. And it's just him and Peggy. And for me, that's the metaphor that perfectly describes where his journey's heading. That's cold and dark, man. Yeah. Broken a bit there. So literally, <laughs> he sacrifices himself to save the, the universe. To stop Thanos, I, and he gets his reward. He gets his dance yeah, with Peggy. That's what, if if it does happen that way, and he does sacrifice him, I do want to see that sequence. I do yeah. want to see her Peggy there, and you know, ready to dance with them, and that's how it ends. And that yeah. way, I would love that. Well, I don't well, know. If, well, that's the way that I'm seeing it. Yeah. Uh, oh my God! Oh, what happened? What? Stop the presses! What? Breaking news! What? No one saw this coming. Really? Netflix have cancelled Punisher and Jessica Jones. Oh, that's, that's still a thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Such a shock. Such a shock. Are you upset, Stephen? Uh, no, no. I don't think it talks about any of them. But, um, yeah, so uh, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, Daredevil, all gone. Now Punisher and Jessica Jones gone as well because we know what Netflix is like. We know this whole Disney Plus thing's coming as mm. well. Uh, and uh, Netflix in kind of sickening retaliation after Disney set up their own streaming service and we're going to have their own they're going to be pulling all the uh, the Marvel properties mm. and all the Disney properties and stuff from Netflix to That's start up their times. own streaming service now a lot of people think Disney and they think the animated movies yeah uh, they think Star Wars and they think Marvel no 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 it goes beyond that because of course they have Touchstone they have Buena Vista and anything oh, that they make. So, like, yeah, Touchstone, for yeah. example, the M. Night Shyamalan early movies, they were all released by Touchstone. Like, I remember Signs was released by Touchstone. Yes. So, that's owned by Disney. So, they pull that as... Anything that uh, ABC have produced, so any of the sitcoms, anything like that, anything on the already existing Disney oh, channels. It's dark times for It's for gonna be a big, big haul for Disney+. Plus. So Netflix, naturally, are a little bit miffed at this. I would say so, so they have decided to cancel everything. 
So literally, I, I'm not shocked by this news at all. It was just a matter of time hmm. before they cancel Punisher and Jessica Jones. Honestly, they won't be missed. I thought they were atrocious. I watched the first no, series. I, I, I haven't seen the second. In all fairness, I will say this. Of the lot of them that have been canned, I haven't watched Punisher. I haven't I've seen been, it either, I've been told very good things about Punisher. And the great thing is about these Netflix shows is they may be cancelled, but they'll still be sticking around on Netflix for a while. So I have plenty of time to catch up on them. Oh, they don't automatically just go back? No, they don't automatically take them off. They're going to keep them up because they won't make some ad revenue off them and stuff. Well, not ad revenue, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but they're just not going to make any more of them. Jessica Jones, I thought, was a goddamn train wreck of a show. Uh, same thing with Iron Fist. Luke Cage was interesting, but it just went on far too long. The one that I, I watched was Jessica Jones. I haven't seen the second series, but now that they're they're going to... No, no, oh my God, the second series is tripe. Really? Oh, I thought series one was long and pretentious. Oh, <laughs> Uh, Daredevil was class. Series one of Daredevil was As I said was before, I, I couldn't get into it. But no, series one of Daredevil's class. Series two kind of gets hijacked by uh, Elektra, kind of uh, halfway through okay. it, and uh, and also the Punisher as well. So it kind of sucks. And I haven't seen series three, but um, yeah, an Iron Fist is it's goddamn ridiculous. So this this news has shocked absolutely nobody. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's that's it. All the Defenders TV shows have um All gone have been canned, and that's it. Really, that's that's really all I can say about it. Uh, they will not be missed. <laughs> 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 they, they, they genuinely won't. I had absolutely no interest in any of them. Uh, and yeah, a lot of people have turned around to me and said, "Oh, Punisher's really good. Give it a go." Ha ha ha! Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me six or seven times. God damn it! I am so close to canceling Netflix. <laughs> I'm Tim Wooder Morrison, I play Django Fett, and I'm following the nerd. Right, Star Wars Episode Nine's finished filming. Oh no. We're boycotting this, we're not going to go see it, because Last Jedi was awful. And we'll go. Yeah, I'm going to go see it as well. I'll go. Um, Have some fun. I, I, yeah. I want to see how the Skywalkers die. <laughs> well, was already dead. He died in the last movie. No, but there's still one left. Who? Hey. Yeah. What? Oh, she's the last Skywalker. Oh, she's really dead. Uh, oh, 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 oh. No, but I mean in the... Do you think the, they'll kill her off? Yes. But See, they'll not do it on screen. I was, they'll not do it on screen. I was thinking the movie was going to start with her like funeral. Nope. They're going to do the like whole... It's, it's been five years since everything went to poop town. That would make with sense. With The Last Jedi. But I'd say they're going to do like, oh, she was shot down, her ship was destroyed. Yeah, I don't know. First I, order. I think it's, it's going to be awkward. Because like, uh, <laughs> it's going to be. Like, they're all saying, here, do you know that that Leia passed Shh, don't talk about it. Just, just get in your ship and fly. <laughs> shoot no, but I do, shoot I, the bad guys. I think it's going to be really, really awkward because it's, it's unused footage of her from The Force Awakens. Oh, how, that how's that going to? How's that going to blend? I don't know. Are they going to, are they going to dub her? Or the no, 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 no. It's, it's going to be her. It's literally just her cutscenes from The Force Awakens. But like she had a... a yeah. Uh, so yeah. she's back in that whole General Leia outfit. Uh, Do you know that green yeah, one yeah. with no, like no, the, no, you the mean body the, warmer? In The Force Awakens. Yeah, like, in, the for, in The Force Awakens. Well, I thought, sorry, that, I thought like, you heard uh, The Last Jedi. No, 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 no. Right, so okay. it's because basically J.J. Um, Abrams directed Force Awakens he's directed yes. in episode 9 so it's going to be so awkward yeah Ooh. so in order to celebrate the fact that they've finally finished off this mediocre trilogy that all the fanboys have been hating on or whatever oh no wait hang on that was just The Last Jedi <laughs> uh, yeah so to mark this glorious occasion John Boyega tweeted a picture of himself with Daisy Ridley and Oscar uh, Isaac all together, happy, all happy. hugging, all wonderful. Uh, yeah, so we, we we can kind of sort of work out what's going on here hmm. because it's a desert planet again. So I'm guessing Tattoo or Jakku, Jakku, I don't know. Star Wars names are just Tatooine would be pretty ridiculous. Maybe Tatooine. I would like to see But that. from the way it looks, I think this is Jakku again. Mm. And it's the three of them together, all hugging. Rey is back in her desert tundra outfit that we saw her in mm. Force Awakens. John Baeg has got some wild hair on him. 
Well, it's been a while. Not as wild as Oscar Isaac. Oscar Isaac is rocking a mullet. Yes. In this picture, and I it was looks always, ridiculous. I was always confused with, with all three of them. I thought that uh, he would be the, the solo. Yeah. But then, then instead, he's just been a I, then bolo. I, 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 <laughs> no, because it's confusing. What what are like uh, like like? I know that yeah, Ray is kind of like characters. Really, they're supposed to be anyway. I don't think they they were designed with like an like a, an original trilogy. See, analog I in thought mind. maybe that's what they were trying to do. In the Poe was up. supposed to die in the Force Awakens. Was he? Yeah, he was only supposed to be in for that opening. What do you scene. mean that, that crash? Yeah, that, sequence? that was supposed to kill him off. But they liked well, him so much yeah, they decided to keep yeah. him keep him around. Uh, so anyway, John Boyega tweeted, that's a wrap on Star Wars Episode Nine and the end of a chapter of my life that I couldn't be more thankful for. What a process! It really has been a joy to be in these movies, surrounded by amazing people. JJ, thank you for making my dreams come true. Ooh, that sounds like he's going to be... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sounds like he's going to be killed off. Yeah, so Star Wars Episode Nine began filming at London's Pinewood Studios on August 1st, 2018. JJ Abrams returns to direct the final installment of the Skywalker Saga. The high... Uh, Abrams co-wrote the screenplay with Chris <laughs> Terrio again as I explained all dead returning cast members include Daisy Ridley Adam Driver John Boyega Oscar Isaac Lupita Nyong'o Domhnall Gleeson Kelly Marie Tran Juna Suotamo and Billy Lourde joining the cast of episode 9 are Naomi Aki Richard E. Grant and Kerry Russell who will be joined by veteran Star Wars actors Mark Hamill Anthony Daniels and Billy D. Williams who will reprise his role as Lando Calrissian Hi I'm Billy D. Williams and I'm following the nerve. Dance. Yeah, so Mark Hamill's back. Force Ghost? Ghost, yeah. Force Ghost. Force Ghost. The role of Leia Organa will once again be played by Car- Carrie Fisher using previously unreleased footage start- shot for Force Awakens. We desperately loved Carrie Fisher, says Abrams. Finding a truly satisfying conclusion to the Skywalker saga without her eluded us. We were never going to recast or use a CG character with the support and blessing from her daughter, Billy. We have found a way to honour Carrie's legacy and the role as Leia in Episode 9 by using unseen footage we shot together in Episode 7. Composer John Williams, who has scored every single chapter in the Star Wars saga since 1977's New Hope, will return with, for Episode 9. And uh, there's a lot of other piddling nonsense here as well. Yeah, so the movie's set for release at the end of this it's year. It's going to be interesting to see the unseen footage of Carrie. And it's going to be interesting how they're going to put it together. Cause they, and, and I think, I hope they do a good job, but that's why I'm going to see this, because I want to know... I want to see it. I, I want to see... It, I don't want to really see it end, but it's ending, but still, I want to see... Thank Christ. <laughs> no, but I really want to see how the Skywalker... like. It passes a torch over, if that makes sense. Do you know what's really interesting to me is where they go from here? Yeah, because... Because with this whole Disney plus shebangery that's going on, mm-hmm. there's a lot of mooted ideas for doing different spin-offs with different characters. Uh, we know we have The Mandalorian coming. Yes, which, that's going to be... In- which is uh, the wonderful, the awesome John Favreau's brainchild. There's a lot of talk of a Rose Tico series. Who the hell wants to see that? Uh, Princess Leia is possibly getting her own series as well. Mm. Uh, Basically, Disney Plus is gearing up to rock our collective Star Wars and Marvel sucks. And having just finished filming on The Mandalorian, are we on the the brink of a slew of Star Wars movies or Star Wars shows I want to know what more information would happen to the the hype they were going on about with the Clone Wars final (coughs) uh, yeah that that, that, that seems to have died yeah like there's no news for that I don't know what's going on at all we already know that uh, Cassian Andor from Rogue One is getting a series what what? who cares yeah John I want I want a K2 Oh, yeah, series. yeah. That's what I want you mean before he got converted or after no uh, after he got converted yeah, that would be I want cool. to see him. I hope to God the Cassian Andor series has him in it. They have to. They have to. Please, uh, a young Princess Leia series. No, I no. Her mucking about on Alderaan. No. What? Uh, Captain Phasma. What? 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 Who cares? She's a bad guy like, and a very mediocre bad guy. I know. From the I know. In, in the com- one of the comics that shows her her story, how she became into the First Order. You've already showed that. Why you make a whole two curves? Yeah, uh, Rose Tico. I'm not, I'm what's what's who's Rose Tico? I'm the the girl from the the last one from the Last Jedi, freed all the space horses. 
really? hung about with Finn. Yeah, yeah, I know who you're. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, it's gonna I, be a, a solo. W- yeah. Uh, what's that gonna focus on? Her running about like fixing chips or what? Because uh, wouldn't she like an?